Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss about roles and users in Snowflake. Okay, and these are fundamental of access control mechanism in Snowflake, or rather, I can say in general way in any cloud computing. Like for example, if you consider AWS. Okay, so when we try to use some AWS services, generally at the most granular level, some access. To a particular AWS service, we provide using policies, right? And then multiple policies we can assign to a particular role, right? And one or more than one role we can assign to a particular user, right? And maybe we can give programmatic access to that user, and using both of three connection, using that programmatic access, the user basically use different AWS services. Like that same way in Snowflake, in the most granular level there are privileges okay privilege is nothing but a defined level of access to an object like privilege in the sense suppose you are having a table you can give only select query permission to a particular user okay they only can run select query nothing else they cannot make some insert data or delete some data nothing they can do only they can do select if you give select privilege okay then you can give uh, maybe Additionally, delete privilege. That is, if they want, they can delete some amount of records. So these are nothing but privilege, which are defined level of access to an object. Then there comes role. Okay, role is nothing but an entity to which we grant these privileges. Okay, and multiple privilege we can basically grant to a particular role. Okay. And then comes user. Okay, user is nothing but a program which basically connects with Snowflake and runs some code or a person. Okay, we basically grant role to user. To a particular user, we can assign more than one role as well. Okay, so this is kind of role-based access control mechanism what is followed in Snowflake. So if I just put in terms of formal words, it looks like this. That is, access management is one of the most important security-related feature in Snowflake, using which we can give permission to a certain level to particular user. That is, restriction in the access of Snowflake services. We can do using roles and users. Okay, depending on what role we give to different user, we can control exactly which functionality they can execute. Okay, that can be select, that can be delete, that can be insert or something other. Okay, maybe crude operation access we can give that is create, read, update, delete anything like that. Everything we can control using this kind of role based access control. Okay. And the key concepts about access management in Snowflake are the following ones. As I told already, first one is securable object. Okay, that is what object you want to secure, whether that is table, whether that is Snowflake procedure or something else, file format or something else. Okay, then there comes privilege. So privilege is nothing but a defined level of access to an object. Okay, whether maybe you want to grant only select privilege. To a particular table uh, for a user, or maybe insert privilege or update privilege, like this kind of thing. Okay, defined level of access is nothing but privilege. Okay, then role is nothing but entity to which we grant the privilege. Okay, that is suppose the role is A. To that role A, we can give grant permission for select privilege to a particular table or insert privilege like that. And user is nothing but a person or program we grant role. One or more than one role to user. Okay, now in a basic level, we will be seeing the lab section. Obviously, in any team, there is a separate Snowflake admin team available who basically control the complete role and users. This kind of access control related stuff, security related stuffs. We as a developer might not need to jump into that particular section in detail, but obviously we should be having some fundamental idea about that because that will help us to work in our day-to-day -day development. Okay, right. So here is the code. Okay, so first what I am doing, drop database if exist Ramu. So I am creating a fresh database Ramu in this particular Snowflake account. If I refresh this, currently Ramu database is not there. Then what I am doing, create or replace database Ramu. So here Ramu database created. If I refresh this, you will be able to see that Ramu database is here. And then here information schema to, to store all the metadata and the public schema to create any table or views, anything we can use this public schema, right? Then what I am doing here, I am creating a table, okay? Employee info is the table name. One dummy table I am creating and inserting some amount of records in it, okay? So if I execute that, 
here see six records got inserted and if I expand the public schema here employee info table is created okay and then if I execute select star on this particular table we will able to see the records perfectly right now currently I am creating this particular tables and showing the demo with account admin because account admin is the one which have all the permission to create roles and grant privileges and all okay so that's why for demo purpose i am using account admin right then what i am doing here create or replace role demo role yt so for the demo purpose i am creating this particular role right and then what we will do we will be granting some privilege to this role okay like how in aws we give or grant some permission to a particular role like the same way you can consider okay so grant usage on warehouse compute wh to this role okay so anytime whenever new user is created they need to execute some query they need some warehouse for computation purpose that time right so we are giving this compute wh usage permission to this role right so if I execute that, see it is successful. Then what we are doing? We are creating a user. Okay. Hello world user is the username. Password is this one. Comment. I am giving user for testing cache or user for testing RBAC. Let me RBAC. Role based access control. Okay. So here let me create the user. Right. And now what I will do? I will basically assign this role, demo role YT to this particular user. Okay like the same how we do in aws so grant role demo role yt to user hello world user right so here role is granted now let's open this particular snowflake in another window i will open in incognito window and then we will try to log in okay as this particular user id and password right so here let's wait for some seconds so here i can paste the username and then here i can paste the password right so and then let's let me sign in right uh, let me minimize this and click on this close this okay then what we'll do we will basically change here from public role to demo role yt which this particular user is assigned and then if we select the warehouse compute wh is there because this role has access to the compute wh so currently here you can see only snowflake sample data is there if i refresh then also the ramu database is not coming okay but any table we can query so if i just place the name in sql and then do here select start from this and bring it 10 we'll able to see the records right so that means it is perfectly working right but we don't have access to the ramu database because ramu database we created using account admin and we have not given the ramu database access permission to the role itself right what we did we just gave the usage permission to this role and that role we assigned to the user right so that's why the user is not able to see this database right so now what i will do i will basically grant the usage on this ramu database to this particular role okay so when i am giving this as the role is given to that particular user so in this particular user now i should able to see the ramu database so if i refresh this see ramu database is there okay so if i expand that currently in ramu database i am able to see only information schema which basically store the metadata okay but if you see this particular ramu database here public schema is there where actually our table is there okay so currently we are not able to see this particular table and this schema the reason is when we basically grant usage to database then it only show the metadata information not the schema because schema access we have not given okay that we need to give explicitly so grant usage on schema ramu.public to this role also we need to give so if i execute that it is executed now in that particular user to whom we assign the role basically here we will able to see the public schema also okay so if i expand that now we are not able to see the table inside the public schema here you can see that the employee info table is there in the public schema under ramu database but although we have access to public schema usage permission to public schema but whatever tables we created to that we have not given access so that also we need to give explicitly okay so maybe grant select on table this particular one we can give to this role okay if we execute that now that particular user can execute select query here okay if i refresh this particular account 
here you will able to see employee info table so i can do select star from this okay so if i just refresh this see here we are able to see okay right so i hope up to this it is quite clear okay but suppose i will try to copy insert into query from here up to six records we have entered right let me insert seventh record here from another user account so seventh one something name i am giving and maybe let me give technical okay and let me try to execute insert query see insufficient privilege to operate on employee info because to this particular user we have granted such role in which we have just given the privilege to execute select query not the insert query right that's why it is getting failed okay right so i hope you are understanding that how much this particular role based authentication role based access control is powerful with respect to securing the access okay so we have given select now let me show you one more thing suppose i am trying to create one table using that particular user okay in the same public schema okay so employee info 123 let me give okay so here if i execute see unexpected okay let me just give semicolon here and let me try to create some table see here insufficient privilege to operate on schema public okay what we have done we have given usage permission to this particular role to this particular user but we have not given the crude access okay that is usage means suppose we are having the grant permission then they will able to view max to max that thing they can do but suppose you want to create some table that time what you have to do you have to give crude access okay so maybe let me execute all privileges okay so grant all privileges on schema ramu dot public to the particular role and this role we assign to that particular user right so now i will able to execute create or replace table see employee info 123 successfully created if i go here in the public schema employee info 123 is there not only that obviously account admin is one of the most powerful role so here will be able to see here also employee info 123 is coming right so this is how basically you can play with the permissions in snowflake lot of things you can explore from documentation which link i'll be providing in the description box and moreover as you are in account admin here if you go to this account you will be getting lot of information okay so if you go to this users here you will able to see the users okay so satudru is basically the account admin so here you can see hello world user what we created just now so that particular user is there and if you go to role here you will able to see the roles also okay so see demo role yt is there okay created by account admin at this time just now what we created for demo purpose okay so these kind of stuff will surely help you in the development process although you might not go to direct account admin or any admin stuff related to snowflake but if you are only restricted to development then also this fundamental concept will help you and i hope uh, this particular video will add some value to your snowflake knowledge this is all for my this video thank you for watching